Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is 2020. Happy New Year to you. Uh, today is obviously New Year's Day and I just wanted to come and say hi, Happy New Year and just do a face mask. So I'm going to do a face mask and just have a little chat. As you can hear, my voice is still gone. So I have had a cold pretty much now. <coughs> I've had a cold now. So what was I saying? Yes, so I am still poorly. I've still got a croaky throat and I've still got a cold and I've probably had that now for a, about a month, which is fabulous. So <coughs> I've got my cup of tea. I'm going to use that to lubricate my throat. <coughs> I do have my normal clothes underneath, but it's so cold today. 1st of January and it is freezing. Um, so anyway, yes. So we're going to do a face mask and just have a little chat about general things, really. Right, so these are the... Karuna. So I got this in my Fab Fit Fun box and this comes with seven different face masks. Um, an age defying, an antioxidant, a brightening, a clarifying, an exfoliating, a hydrating and, and then just a eye patch one, an under eye patch. What am I feeling today? My skin is quite glowy anyway so radiant um does it feel quite dry i might do the hydrating one let's do a nice hydrating face mask shall we obviously i can't get into the box my ears keep popping out how annoying is that oh look they come another oh it's got a little planner inside so it's got a little planner there which tells you to hashtag Sunday fun day, mask crush Monday, that's quite good, tip Tuesday, hump day, Thursday Friday, Thursday th Thursday, Friday, and Saturdays. <laughs> oh no, so what is the day today? It's Wednesday, hump day. Oh, that's the age-defying one. Oh, let's do that one then. I suppose I better do it. I like these. They look very spa. They just scream spa to me. Right. Age-defying. That's a nice little lavender coloured. For ageing and sensitive skin. It reduces the signs of ageing, helps restore moisture, revitalises and transforms dry, mature skin. I assume it is just a general um, sheet mask. Gently unfold mask, place cloth side on face, remove white backing, adjust slips to custom fit. I'm always so fabulous at doing that. <clears throat> okay, let's. My sense of smell isn't that great still. It smells like, what does that smell like? It smells a little bit like a, a, a rich cream. Like something my grandma would wear, but not like ooh, grandma smells. Like a, a real rich, thick, luxurious, cream face cream hmm doesn't have an overwhelming smell which is nice as normal it's quite a wet quite a wet mask so which is good it's dripping with product dripping with that serum i always worried that i'm going to rip some of these i wonder if anyone's face is too big for this <laughs> right oh this is always horrible because it's cold okay 
got dog hair on it already honestly dog hairs and cat hairs get everywhere so quickly right oh it's gonna be cold oh that's the only thing that i dislike about these masks that they're cold they're so cold all the time i want a cold mask on my face in the winter right let me peel this backing off and then i can put it in place properly Cold. It's cold, it's cold, it's cold. Okay, right. I always have trouble getting it a nice flush to the nose as well. Oh, I'm glad I put this robe on. It's very wet. It's a very wet mask. There's not too much excess in the bottom there either. I do love a little bit of excess so I can... I can pop it on my face later on as well. Right, the only thing with these masks is that I can't really drink my tea because I end up dipping my, my face in it. So, oh, it doesn't even say how long to leave it on for. Relax and enjoy the treatment for 10 to 20 minutes. Toss and glow. <laughs> okay, so what is the time? It's 20 to three, so I'll leave it on until three o'clock. So, how did everyone's Christmas go? Did you all get lots of beautiful presents? Were you all spoiled rotten? I expect so. I got some very nice bits and pieces. Love that. Uh, Tom got me the Jeffree Star Blue Blood palette, which I will do a video with very soon. One of the eggnog lip scrubs, which is delicious. Oh, let me just get comfortable. Uh, what was I going to talk to you about? Ah, I was going to talk to you about um, some ideas that I had for my channel and I would like you to tell me whether you think they're a good idea bad idea you would watch them you wouldn't watch them I don't know I very much like to do things on my channel that I am passionate about obviously and one of the things that I absolutely love is TV and film. I love it, obviously. I I watch a lot of films. I used to watch a hell of a lot more. Some of the older films that I used to watch, oh my god, they're amazing. I love them. And I could watch I could watch the same film over and over and over again. I have like such a obsession with something. If I love a certain film, I will watch it three four times in the same day love them so <clears throat> i did make another channel um about a month ago maybe a little bit more i just set up a new channel and i thought you know what in the new year i'm gonna start filming film reviews um because it's something that i love and i wanted to um revisit some of the films that I grew up with, some of the films that I've loved and each film or a lot of the films uh, from when I was little up until now obviously um, they all have such a little like a story behind them as well and I've watched films now and I'm like oh my god I used to love this film and everyone else is like oh my god it's so lame it's so rubbish and I'm like oh my god it's amazing because I remember um, a lot of them I remember why I fell in love with them, what I was doing when I first watched it, just loads of different bits and pieces. So anyway, I made a new channel so I could revisit some of the old films that I loved so, so much, um, some uh, films that I have maybe missed that I wanted to watch and do like my not my reaction to them my opinion on the film and then I filmed for Christmas my top five Christmas films and I absolutely loved filming that I think did I do it? I did it while I was getting ready to go out or get ready for the day 
and I thoroughly enjoyed filming that. It was so laid back, it was just chatting and when I watch or when I do like get ready with me I struggle with what to talk about because I don't think that you particularly want to know what's going on in my life and when I watch them back even I'm bored so I'm sure that <laughs> you probably are and then I filmed my god I'm dribbling on about crap now then I filmed a film review for my other channel and I haven't put it on there just because although it was fun to film I I thought that it's awkward sat here not doing anything as you can see I fiddle I do fiddle a lot I just I can't keep still I fiddle I play with things I poke things and I'm just a bit of a fiddler I thought to myself it's my channel why don't I do film reviews while I'm putting on my makeup oh my god I'm such a genius genius and obviously I don't want to ruin films or TV shows and everything for people you might not have seen it but a lot of the films and things like that that I will be reviewing and I'll be talking about um, will be older films anyway especially at first i think they will be older films so you should have seen them you know if you i, I try not to give away any spoilers just don't be that person that moans about my good idea so what i was proposing that i do from next week i will be doing at least once a week a get ready with me film review and that's what it'll be. It'll be a movie and makeup day. So I will discuss, give you my opinion. It will only just be my opinion. It won't be, you know, gospel or anything like that. Just give you my opinion on a film and a little bit of a background story of the film. Just chatting really, just to pass the time while I'm doing my makeup. You can offer your opinion on the film if you've seen the film. You might listen to me and think, oh my God, I need to watch that film. I haven't seen that film yet. Or I didn't know that film was out. Or I love that person. So if you think that is quite a good idea and you would watch it, then, you know, let me know down below. I hate saying that. That sounds weird. Let me know down below as if you're going to talk to my vagina. Ew. Pop it in the comments below of if you think it's gonna be a good idea or not. And don't forget, obviously, subscribe to my channel. I know that a good 80% of people that watch my channel are not subscribed yet. Very rude, very rude to hang around without subscribing. That's another thing that I was gonna talk about. Completely different, completely different to what we were just discussing. Christmas. Okay, Christmas has just been and gone, okay lovely enjoyed christmas i love christmas this year was the first christmas since i was 18 that i did not have to work boxing day yes amazing absolutely amazing so previous years obviously since i was 18 i have worked in retail and i've never mind working boxing day to be honest the last couple of years has been a little bit more like crappy having to work Boxing Day just mainly because I do have a child and she has just turned nine. Happy birthday, you little monkey. Um, and so the last few years since she's been born obviously has been a bit of a bummer having to work Boxing Day seeing as I had to work Christmas Eve as well and the build up to Christmas so we were working flat out and then you have Christmas Day and then I would have to get up at about four o'clock in the morning on Boxing Day to go to work for the day, which sucks, 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 sucks. So this year is the first year that I have not been working in retail. I did change jobs. I changed jobs in April and I did a half day on Christmas Eve. I was like, what? half day on Christmas Eve so I did half day on Christmas Eve I w I had Christmas day off I had Boxing Day off and then I had the Thursday the Friday 
Saturday, the Sunday, and I was back in on Monday, and then half day on Tuesday, which was New Year's Eve, and then today is New Year's Day. So just so you know my rota <laughs> for over Christmas. So I was completely and utterly, absolutely friggin' thrilled that I had some actual time off to spend with my family. Um, it was nice to have my brother and my sister-in-law and my niece over. Um, it, it was just nice. The one thing about the build up to Blinking Christmas is the people building it up Okay, it drives me mad. The ones that are all grumpy about it as well. So you spend all of November, okay, so November comes along and everyone's like, oh, have you done your Christmas shopping yet? Have you done your Christmas shopping yet? Oh, have you? And you get the token person who's like, yeah, I'm all done. Christmas done. They are all done. They have wrapped, they have done everything. And that's in November. Friggin good for you, mate. Good for you love that um i grab bits and pieces throughout you know especially from about september when the kids go back to school it then dawns on me that i've only got a couple of paychecks left until christmas do try as soon as it gets to september i try and sneak a few christmas shops in just little bits and pieces as i see things and i think oh that's good i'll get that for so and so i'll get that for so and so yeah so i do sneak in a few cheeky buys but then you've got the people who go you know oh no christmas is december december you start shopping in december you start putting your decorations up in december you start doing this in december so they get very very antsy with the people who are already prepped and primed and ready to go and they're like i haven't bought anything yet it's not even it's not even december meh, meh. right but then so they make you feel bad that you have already purchased things ready okay so these people are like oh no and they get very far humbug about it and then all of a sudden all of a sudden, as soon as the first of blinking December comes, everyone's like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And they realise that they've only got a couple of weeks left and they've got a couple of weeks to buy the presents, wrap the presents, post all the letters, post things to the ones that live like miles away, live on mainland or on the side of the world or whatever. They panic and then they panic me because I'm like, oh my god, you said yesterday it was too early. Too early. No, it's too early. Today, all of a sudden, I should have had it done by now. It's like, there's a one day. One day between. <sighs> so next year, or no, should I say this year, I am going to prep. I am going to purchase things as and when I go. I'm, I'm going to be done by November. That's what I'm saying to myself. I'm going to have it done. I'm going to not stress about it. And I'm just going to get it all done. And I'm also not going to leave the wrapping to the last minute. Because I hate wrapping presents. And every year I say, I'm going to wrap as I go. And I never do. Then that's when I get pissed off. Because I hate wrapping presents. So stop panicking people. People. So it's now three o'clock it's so dark it's horrible so let's get this mask off i'm gonna put it from the forehead down it doesn't say anything but i'm just going to massage the remaining serum into my face and I always like to bring it down my neck and also rub it into my hands. Just so, oh look, I did some new nails for New Year's. You see those? Did some gray. This gray is like a bluey, bluey based gray and I'm so sorry. And a silver. My New Year's nails. I don't have nail extensions either. They are my natural nails. I gotta say, I didn't bother shaping them or um, cutting them down. So they're all different lengths, but not hurting anyone, is it? Right, so anyway, 
that is the end of my little mask and I think my face is looking quite glowy isn't it yeah so I think my face is looking quite nice and quite glowy I do need some lip balm on though I need to pop a little lip balm on my lippies I'm always so sloppy when I put anything on my lips well anyway that is the end of this video um a happy new year i hope you had a good night last night you didn't get too drunk i didn't get too drunk i didn't get drunk at all i had a couple of glasses of baileys went to bed before the new year even kicked in went to bed watched some supernatural went to sleep and then got shouted at by my now nine-year-old that that new year has begun and that <laughs> I was like okay happy new year now go to sleep <laughs> don't forget to subscribe to my channel I know there's a lot of you out there that watch my channel but you don't subscribe subscribing that does help and I will see you on the next video see you later bye